Ah, boys, another day of school. And the teacher just said, okay, class, who's ready to learn today? I'm going to say me. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm getting kind of sick of school. It's just the same thing over and over again. And this girl just said usual tap. Bro, what? Oh, the teacher said, all right, tap. Can you solve the equation th 13 times 11? Uh, to be honest with you guys, I don't know how to answer that. And Noel said, I can. And the teacher said, Noel, give him a chance. You know what tap is. Bro, what? I'm going to say, to be honest, I don't know the answer to that. Sorry. Next question and this girl just said oh wait can i and noel said of course bro why is he making fun of me and the teacher said oh all right tap noel you can answer 133 and bro got it right guys i'm not gonna lie i'm not that good in school okay and the teacher said good job noel and he said tap you can never answer these questions i'm gonna say hey i'm not that good at math okay gosh bro the teacher's such a jerk and he said tap i'm gonna give you another chance okay okay that's all i needed he said all right well this is basic math tap i say okay guys i'm kind of nervous i don't want to get it wrong he said what is eight times 12 and this girl said bet he will get it wrong bro what the heck guys i, I know the answer to that uh i kind of need a calculator for it to be honest so he put it on the board and everyone's saying pick me C sir can i answer that he said i'll put it on the board because i'm sure you need it i'm gonna say to be honest uh, i don't know that one either and noel said bro and this girl's laughing he said oh my gosh tap do you know anything uh I, i'm not good at math i told you he said this is so basic and everyone's saying can i answer it pick me me, tap. What's four times four? Bro, I'm not answering that, bro. I know that one, okay? Obviously. And this girl got it right. She is 96. Come on, tap. I'm gonna say, I'm sorry. I'm just not that good. She said, you're an idiot. Yo, what the heck? I'm gonna say, don't talk to me like that. And, th and this guy said, does he have any brain cells? Gosh, why is everyone so rude? He said, clearly you don't, tap. Zero brain cells. You're too stupid for 10th grade. Bro, no, I'm not. And the teacher said, this is fifth grade math. I'm gonna say, well, I'm trying, okay? And the girl said, even simple stuff you can't solve. Solve. And this guy said, tap it under the average IQ, clearly. Bro, I'm getting bullied. And the teacher said, I always ask you the easiest questions to you, and you still don't get it. And then this kid said, you're going to end up working at McDonald's, lol. I'm going to say, no, I'm not. I'm going to be a millionaire one day. And he said, millionaire? Nice joke. Millionaire stupidness. And then he said, haha, what tap? He said, your IQ is lower than a sloth. Bro, I'm pretty sure sloths are actually kind of smart. And the teacher said, that's crazy that you think you can be a millionaire. I'm going to say, I can. Bro, why is everyone doubting me? And then this kid just said, hey, Tap, can you make me a McDouble? Lol. Bro, he's talking about McDonald's food. Your best friend's working at McDonald's if they even accept your IQ. And he said, what will you be, a YouTuber? Um, I can be whatever I want. I'm gonna say, my mom told me I could be anything I wanted. And I believe her. She said, you can't be anything. Well, mothers are mothers. They want the best for you, but you're too stupid for anything. Oh my gosh, bro. Everyone is so rude here. I'm gonna say, this school is so negative. And the teacher said, sorry, we're just being truthful. Sometimes the truth hurts, Tap. I'm gonna say that's not true though and noel said bro what is that outfit you're wearing bro this is my drip what does he mean and the girl said honestly you should drop out did your iq affect your clothes as well and she said it'd be a waste of time if you keep doing the same year she said your drip is like a five-year-old kid drip man and he said well tap they're not wrong bro okay no i'm sick of this i'm gonna say you are all wrong and i'm sick of this you're like a fifth graders level of knowledge i'm gonna say i don't care about this stupid math i'll still be a millionaire one day and she said oh are you gonna cry tappy leave school already man you know what i will i'm dropping out i'm never coming back to school and the girl's laughing again the teacher said no you're not i'm gonna say yeah i am mr oliver and you're part of the reason he said you won't survive out in the real world i'm gonna say i've been surviving my whole life i'll be just fine and the guy just said you don't understand tap you will see i'm gonna say no you will see and noel said you're lucky your parents Parents care about you with that IQ. Bro, um, I don't want to talk about it right now, but I don't really have parents. He said, surprised I didn't put you up for adoption. I'm gonna say, oh, I'm okay. Should I say it? I'm gonna say, bro, I don't have parents. And she said, oh, no wonder. That explains everything. I'm out of here. I'm gonna say, I hate all of you. And I hope to never see you guys again. She said, lol, we hope too. And Molly said, you're gonna end up under the bridge, man. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm gonna say bye forever. Bro, I'm leaving school and I'm never coming back. I'm dropping out, guys. I don't even care anymore. Gosh, bro, why is everyone so rude? Like, they're just all jerks. They all doubt me. They all call me dumb. I'm gonna prove them wrong, okay? And also, guys, I'm not sure if you could tell or not, but like I said, I, I don't really have parents. Um, and a lot of people don't know my situation either, but I'm, I'm actually homeless as well. I wear the same clothes every day, but at this point, bro, I'm just taking all this off, bro. I'm sick of this. I try to put on this image for school so I want to look like a normal kid, but I'm taking all this crap off. I'm so sick of it, bro. I'm actually just mad. Now, I normally don't show people my house, but I, I guess I'll show you guys.
guys. Um, it's actually not a house at all. It's it's a tent and a sleeping bag. And I also have a, a fireplace so I can cook food if I want to. Gosh, guys, today's been the worst day of my life. I'm not even mad anymore. I I'm just sad. I get bullied every single day in school. Everyone calls me dumb. Even in the chat, they said that was the dumbest kid I've ever seen. Am I really going to be just a failure my whole life? I mean, when I was young, my parents abandoned me and now I've just been alone. You know, maybe they're right, guys. Maybe I am just a failure. I think I'm just going to fall asleep right here. Good night, guys. Well, guys, it's been a while. I've actually managed to get my own house. Uh, although it's not the best. I mean, I have a TV that turns on. I have a couch I can sit on. I have a food in my fridge, I think. Well, I actually don't have a fridge. I have a cooler. And there's a good amount of stuff in there. Enough to survive off of, at least. Bananas laying around. A little bit of pizza. Actually, I'm kind of hungry. And oh my gosh, it's 9 a.m. right now. I'm going to be late for work. What am I doing? Oh my gosh, I need to go now. I need to go now. Now, if you guys don't know, I actually got a job. And I'm able to afford this house all myself, which is pretty nice. But I'm nowhere near a millionaire still. But I'll... I'll I'll take you guys my work with me and this is my car i know it's not the nicest but it gets from point a to point b which is all that really matters one day i'll have a nice car guys trust me and oh my boss is right there he said what are you doing i'm gonna say uh huh he said you're late i'm gonna say i know i know I i'm sorry i overslept a bit oh my gosh guys it's all my fault he said "Ugh, whatever start working now okay okay i will oh i need to cook so i need a break okay okay i'll just clean for now actually gosh guys i need to stop being late i'm gonna get fired from my job it's the only way i'm able to afford my my house so if i lose my job then i would be homeless again and guys i do not want to be homeless again i'm telling you well uh, we don't have any customers here just yet so i'm gonna cook anything that's good guys i won't lie i've been working here for the last three years and although i've saved up enough money for my house and my car i just feel like i'm, I'm kind of working a dead-end job and oh oh we have a customer okay okay uh, let me take his order and wait a minute is this the guy from my class he said hello uh okay i don't think he notices me i'm gonna say hey mr jimbo what can i get you he said can i get a cheeseburger with uh side of fries i'm I'm gonna say sir yes sir coming right up gosh bro i just cook the same thing every single day and it's just getting old at this point guys but it's fine you gotta keep working and one day i'll get something else guys i'm telling you but yeah, we need to fry this stuff and oh no it's burning oh my gosh oh my gosh turn it down turn it down uh, i hope boss didn't see that he just said dude i'm gonna say sorry sorry i i turned up the temperature a little too high he said my fryer i'm gonna say i'm sorry i i finished cooking though it's okay he said, don't mess up gosh bro why is everyone so mean to me uh i'm gonna say Hey, Mr. Jimbo, here's your food. He said, stop being useless, man. Please. Bro, I'm not useless. He said, thank you so much. Let me just pass him the food. He said, wait a second. Are you Tap? Oh my gosh. He remembers me from school. I'm gonna say, uh, yeah? He said, OMG, lol. He said, you're working at McDonald's. I'm gonna say, this isn't McDonald's, bro. He said, you did end up making that burger for me. Oh yeah, I remember that, actually. He said, make a McDouble. He said, well, I got a burger, don't I? I'm gonna say, yeah, I guess so. Bro, how did he get this car, guys? He said, thanks so much, dog. And he's leaving. Bro, is he showing off the car? He said, later, loser. Bro, what? Like this turbo? And now he's gone. Oh my gosh, guys. What's wrong with me, bro? I can't keep working here forever. I have to make more money. I have to, guys. I, I will become a millionaire. I cannot give up on my dreams, okay? He said, that guy was pretty funny, huh? I'm gonna say, how was that funny? He made fun of me. He said, it was funny. So yeah, lol. Bro, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of this, guys. Is it anyways, get to work. Bro, this stupid boss, bro. All right, guys, look. So you know my goal is to become a millionaire, okay? But working this job, I only make $1,000 a month, okay? Which doesn't sound that bad, right? But if you do the math, that means it would take me 1,000 months, aka 83 years, to make a million dollars, okay? And I don't have that much time, all right? I'm gonna die before then. So I must think of a way to make more money, okay? I'll show you guys my bank account really fast. As you can see, I have roughly $10,000, okay? Which isn't that bad. But guys, that's only one one percent of the way my boss just said dang it's a slow day today i'm gonna say i know right he said just go home bro wait what i'm gonna say go home he said i'll work from here i'm gonna say oh well what about the pay i i still need the money he said pay question mark i'm gonna say yeah i don't work for free he said not today you only did one thing bro what i'm gonna say you can't do that he said enjoy your day off i can do whatever i want i own this place duh now bye bro what the i'm gonna say uh 
all right then goodbye sir all right i'm out of here guys this is so stupid okay i'm not fired but i guess you left me off early i guess i can go home and watch some tv or something i won't lie guys my life right now kind of sucks i just feel like i'm never gonna get to where i want to be well maybe one day well back home i'm gonna watch some tv boys all right i got my pizza i got my pandas or brookhaven dental what should i watch hmm. man what am i doing guys i'm watching law vacation am i gonna be broke forever am i gonna live in this small house forever i'm wasting my life right now guys i need to do something that makes me money okay my job can only make a thousand dollars a month i can only work so many hours in a month i'm gonna have to start my own business or something guys that's the only way okay or maybe actually i could sell stuff i mean i have a couch i could sell i have uh, a chair i could sell or what even sells for the most what do i have that sells for the most amount of money wait a minute my car well i kind of need that car well actually i mean okay i bought it for three thousand so if i can sell it for four thousand then i can make a thousand dollars just like that guys that's genius okay 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 i'm gonna go outside take pictures of my car and post it online hopefully someone will buy it um all right here we go picture like this mm -hmm, just like that and perfect all right so a picture of the car right there and then four thousand dollars and then list perfect and now they should just pull up here if they want the car but i guess for now i could just watch tv i don't know and oh look at this most wanted live maybe i should do a crime okay what am i saying no 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 guys i can't do that i can't do that that'd be silly okay I'm, i don't want to go to jail guys who cares if i'm a millionaire if i can't enjoy the money right guys is my car even gonna sell does anyone even want this piece of crap and what the heck who's at my door uh guys i'm kind of nervous and oh uh, it's what the heck are they blocking my door back up wait a minute it's is that hello wait uh tap i'm gonna say hey molly dot 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 why are you at my house she said you again Ugh. i'm gonna say shush she said i wanted that crappy car you have wait what i'm gonna say well, what do you mean you want to buy it she said didn't know you owned it oh um wait guys actually something about my car okay i'm gonna say uh here uh, follow me isn't it for sale uh yeah no no it is it is it is i'm gonna say uh just check it out the price is four thousand she said oh my god your place is disgusting i'm gonna say hey be nice oh my gosh man i mean it's better than being homeless that's for sure she said you look terrible for real what happened to you i'm gonna say uh life happened i guess she said, i forgot your life was already terrible gosh she's so rude you said 4k for it i'm gonna say yup she said not gonna lie your car is pretty clean so you said 4k for it. i'm gonna say yes 4k you take cash wait what she's gonna buy it i'm gonna say uh yep of course i do she said the cash is on 50 so it's a lot and oh my gosh she's giving me the money she said deal i'm gonna say deal and oh my gosh guys i just got the cash i'm gonna say uh be safe she said bye bye now oh guys 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 okay wait little does she know i bought that car for three thousand guys if i can buy a car for three thousand and sell it for four thousand then i make a thousand dollars in a single day it takes me a month to make that guys i'm gonna open up a car dealership Alrighty, boys, I am up fresh and early with my freshest suit on. And it is time to go buy a location for my car dealership. Okay, look, let's be honest, guys. If people come up here expecting to buy a car, they're going to see the house and think it's disgusting. I'm going to get less sales. So I need to get my own car dealership location. I'm not really too sure where, but I'm going to go into town now and try to find something. Gosh, boys, this could be so big. I'm telling you guys, it could be huge. Also, I brought this clipboard to look more official. Hopefully, I find something good. All right, I just need to find a store space for sale. There's already all these businesses, though. They have like the auto parts here they have the library the post office and what the store for rent uh guys is this my chance i'm gonna say hello sir let me pull up the clipboard to look more official i'm gonna say uh what exactly are you renting out he said hello there he's at offices i'm gonna say uh well what do you mean what can you use these spaces for is it stores supermarkets restaurants car dealerships wait what whoa, whoa, whoa. car dealerships i'm gonna say uh did you say car dealerships he said anything everything he said everything you want he said yeah oh uh okay could you show me this unit guys i don't know what to say all right i'm trying to act official here let me just start writing on my clipboard right now he said yeah sure and okay i guess it's up here um he said here it is i'm gonna say car dealership this looks like a museum he said it could turn into anything as i said oh yeah that is true actually well uh i'm gonna say do it then <gasps> and oh my gosh guys he wasn't lying this is a this is a car dealership he said there you go oh my gosh it's perfect i'm gonna say uh how much sir he said we take cash per month um okay how much he said ten thousand a month bro ten thousand a month guys i can't afford that i can't afford that i only have fourteen thousand dollars in my bank account guys should i do it he said it's for renting uh guys okay i have to guys you have to take risk in life or else you won't get anywhere he said so what is your decision i'm gonna say i'm in 
Well, boys, it's been a while. It's been quite a long time since I opened this dealership. It's about two years now, and uh, I'm happy to say that I actually have, drum roll please, 900 thousand dollars i work here every single day and i sell cool cars now you guys know my first car sale was that old mom car but we're no longer selling that i won't lie it's pretty still too i'm the boss so i have no one telling me what to do i can sell whatever car i want and this is honestly my dream i won't lie my next big car sale and i'll be a millionaire and oh look someone's in here and it's uh ben he said hello i'm gonna say hello good sir he said i heard of the best dealership in town so i came to check he said what do we have here i'm gonna say oh this this is a brand new Ferrari going for about $300,000. Convertible too, as you can see. He said, only $300,000? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Some people are just so rich. He doesn't even care. He said, dang, this baby needs a use. I'm going to say, how about you take a seat? He said, sure. And they said, dang, it's comfy. I'm going to say, it drives even better. He said, I'd bet that. He said, I was looking for this Ferrari for so long. I finally have it. Oh, uh, guys, I think he's going to buy it. Guys, I'm going to make a $100,000 commission off of this, which would make me a millionaire, but I'm not getting too excited. I'm going to say that it looks like you found your match, sir. He said, I indeed did. He said, so, gentlemen, cash or check? I'm going to say check works best. Cash takes a while to count when the cars are this expensive. He said, I agree. Ha, it takes a lot of time. And oh my gosh, he just handed me the check. He said, here's the check. Guys, this is $300,000 in my hand right now. He said, can't wait to try to me out. Woo. I'm going to say perfect. Walk down with me, sir. And here it is, boys. He said, sheesh. I'm going to say anything else I can help you with. He said, ah, the engine sound alone is awesome. Oh my gosh, he loves it. Guys, when I go to the bank and cash this check, I'm going to have a million dollars. And also, I didn't show you guys my house yet, but it's amazing. He said, nah, I'm glad I found this car. Thanks. Pleasure doing business with you, mate. I'm going to say, you too, sir. Be safe out there. He said, you too. And he's gone. Guys, I have the check. Okay, I need to go now to the bank, to the bank. To the bank, to the bank right now, guys. I'm telling you, you don't understand. This is the last amount of money I needed to finally be a millionaire. And all right, let me just deposit this. Come on. And look, 900,000. If I just deposit it, look, one million dollars. Oh my gosh, guys. I made it. I did it. I did it. I finally did it. And guys, let me show you my house really fast. Look at this, boys. It's actually beautiful. I have an underground garage. And oh, let me show you my car as well. Well, let me show you my house first. I don't know, guys, but look at this thing. It's beautiful. It's fully glass, three stories, underground garage. If you guys don't know, it's also car themed, okay? I own a car dealership, so it only makes sense, really. But then you walk downstairs and look, it's my baby. If you press this button, it'll actually rotate your car as well for you. But if you guys don't know, this is the new Tesla Roadster. And of course, I got it early because I am a car dealership owner. But since I'm officially a millionaire, I guess it's time to go for a cruise. And wow, guys, I won't lie, I can't believe I made it. Like, I, I I never thought this would actually happen. When I was homeless and everyone was doubting me, I started to believe them sometimes. And yo, what the? This girl, Molly. Wait, is that Molly from school? She said, whoa, the new Tesla. Wait a minute, guys. That's her, I think. She said, that didn't come out still. How? I'm, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm going to shock her. I'm going to say, how's it going, Molly? She said, OMG, tap. I'm going to say, ha Yes, it's me. She said, how did, like, how? Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's so shocked. I'm going to say, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah. ha. Hard work and dedication. That's how. So you went from the broken house. I'm going to say, yup. And the tiny car. I'm going to say, after you bought that tiny car, I opened up my own car dealership. She said, wow, that's so impressive. I'm going to say, uh, thanks. Guys, she was making fun of me in school, though. So I kind of don't like her. She said, can I have a ride? <laughs> I'm going to say, low. Absolutely not. I'm out of here, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. I finally finally made it. It feels so great. I went from a dropout to a millionaire. Guys, I just want to say you always have to follow your dreams and never give up. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.